Alright everyone, so it's been a while. Yes, I know it's been a while, but welcome to another episode of Plundercraft. Today is episode number five or six, I think it's five, but welcome back to Plundercraft. Um, we, a lot has happened, I say this every single episode, but a lot has changed. Uh, we've got Chicago, our dog, and Blue is here, not Blue, Claws is here, Paws is here, sorry. Blue died. I don't remember if I told you that. Uh, he died to black magic. <laughs> uh, I, I tried giving him a cookie and he died. But I have been doing some stuff over here. I have a lot to show you. But I've been doing some stuff over here. Uh, I've been uh, editing the members list. And I have been putting up the map right there. So there we go right there. <laughs> Hello YouTube. Hi Pepe. I know you can hear me. But um... We are going to be doing some, uh, something that we haven't done ever. We are going to attempt to do a third person time lapse of terraforming this, as in getting rid of it. And we're going to try that in just a second. I just going to show you something really, really cool, and it's right over here. Um, there's an end shop, and that is Justin's end shop. Um, or YouTube Beast, whatever you want to call it, okay? He sells and stuff, shulker boxes, which I bought all those. Um, he sells phantom membranes to repair elytras. And, I have a lot of stuff. I have an Efficiency of 5 book, which we got. I have my redstone box, my richities, and then also my other shulker boxes. Um, the end... It broke. <laughs> but, just over here, we have a few more deals added to the shop. Uh, we have these, which have not been made any sales. But, our new deal is now cobblestone. It is nine stacks for one diamond. The best thing right there, nine stacks for one diamond. Um, other than that, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 we sell rockets now as well. We're out of stock because they go out the second I stock them. But today, just today, and I cannot thank Justin enough. He is probably one of the best people on the server. He gave me a mending book. So now we have mending on our elytra that we got. Um, I'm really sorry that I haven't recorded lots of the things that have happened on Plundercraft. Um... Some of the things happened when I wasn't even on, like the elytra stuff and all the shulker boxes. I wasn't on when they went and got that, but that's okay because now I have a whole bunch of shulker boxes. And um, without further ado, let's head into our third person time lapse. Alright guys, so this is what we've got so far. Um, it's not bad. Uh, I'm telling you, it was right here before. And now it's all the way back there. And that was only 10 minutes. So, imagine what would happen if I spent an hour on this. We'd probably have the whole mountain gone by then. But we, we are almost dead on our second shovel here. Um, I would say we can... I don't... I actually don't know how far I want to bring it back. Oh, there's always creepers on the roofs. Everywhere. But, um, I think, I don't know if you guys saw the time lapse, but I fell down 
a hole right here and was on three hearts. But yeah, just in case if you're wondering, I did get the coal that was there. Trust me, I'm not going to go without coal. This is everything that we got from it. Uh, the Minus the coal, that was what I, we probably got like that much from the coal. But um, this is what we've got. Oh, we've almost got 18 stacks of dirt, so that's pretty good. One thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to be gifting somebody some dirt. And it's going to be somebody who owns a shop because he just joined the server. I don't know if you saw it when I showed you the members list. He just joined the server right there, Air Phase Timo. He goes by Tim. And uh, I'm going to gift him some dirt because he has a shop here. And he, yes, he sells cobblestone, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. I'm going to gift him some dirt to sell in his shop. My full inventory. And I think that if I do this, it'll be very nice to do that for him. Just be, just to get him started on the server. There we go. We have almost a whole full inventory, full chest worth of dirt. So that's pretty good. I do want to help everybody out on the server, just like Justin does. Justin has been doing so much on the server. He is like the the MVP. What what is that? Sorry, MVP, the most valuable player, or something like that. He's he's really good. That's all I'm gonna say. But um, yeah, the house. I don't know if you guys have seen it. It had a tiny upgrade. And I just want to say, as I said in the time lapse um, about videos. This here is my carrot shop, my golden carrot shop that we sell our golden carrots for. And uh, it has made a couple sales. I've restocked it from when it was first. Okay then. Oh, I don't know why you had to whisper that, that there's, there's no one else on the server. But okay. Um, jo so yeah, speak as I said about Justin, he gave us that mending book. And uh, he gave Jonah one as well, because Jonah, me, and him are the only ones with the Lytras, because we are the only ones who've gone to the end. Uh, the end coordinates were put onto the th on, in a, on a sign, but that sign is gone now. Um, there's a dragon head here, and as I said, there's the end shop here that sells shulker boxes. Um, I really want to continue going on with getting these gone, getting these hills gone. Because my goal is to, of course, flatten all of that out. Make it all level. So then shops can go there. The same as over here. Uh, this right here, I want to make a path that connects to this thing over here. Which is called Springville. And it's uh, popping up. As you can see, there's already a house being built over there. Um, but I want to make the pathway connect over to there. I don't know how we're going to mix it in for his black roads to our cobblestone roads, but we're gonna find a way. This here is probably gonna be the easiest hill to remove, cause I'm only probably going to remove up to around here and just make it look nice and then have the path come around over, over to there. So I don't have to do a time lapse for that. I just wanted to do a time lapse to first to show you guys that uh, I learned how to do a time, time lapse, and uh, second to tell you guys about that. But, I'm going to go, and I will come back when I have some of this mountain gone. Alright guys, so this is what it looks like. I've been just taking out uh, the wood that was in this tree, because people like to leave trees floating, and I hate that. But, here we are. Uh, it looks amazing, guys. I, actually, I absolutely love it. Um, sadly... I don't have enough time in the rest of this episode to finish it. So we're going to have to finish it next episode. Um, I have to get a video a video out so I can't record anymore. So this is going to be the end of the episode. So anyways guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed and I really hope you guys like this Plundercraft series that we're doing. I love it and I hope you guys love it as well. So anyways guys, thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, slap that like button in the face. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. You know what? I, anyways guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, slap 
that like button in the face like there's no tomorrow. If you have not done so, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button to join Team Member D. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Goodbye!